Hello my soccer universe and let's review the jersey matchups from match day two right off the bat much 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 better than in round one. Uh, match day one there were many uh, matchups where I didn't understand it seemingly is UEFA slowly getting to their senses however we still have a few stunners but I have to say as the tournament progresses we see more and more beautiful jersey matchups and it was crowned by whatever happened um, last Saturday uh, in, the, th in the, um, the two Group F matches in Spain against Poland. So again I want to go, I have ranked all the churches from uh, what I think is the worst to the first. I have the four categories again, um, atrocious, <laughs> really uh, awful and, and atrocious expected but bad meaning there could have been a much nicer one than we have expected and good looking. Uh, actually, I have this time, when I say uh, in the expected and bad category, there's just some in there that are kind of either bad because of the jerseys in there or kind of they're boring in, in, in a way. And then we have, of course, the very good ones. So I would say let's go right in, right in. And the worst jersey matchup, awful, 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 was Croatia against the Czech Republic. I hate those Croatia away jerseys and then the Czechs have nothing uh, else to play in as the white jerseys. I actually would think I know they were the away team and that's why I pro uh, probably but I actually think the Czechs could have played in red there. But these awful Czech jerseys who are actually better than the original away jerseys but that would have been an interesting color matchup with this Linden green stuff. Still not great. Uh, and then those Croatia jerseys no it just does not work and I even wonder with the pure white if Croatia at least would have put on their checkerboard somehow maybe I don't think it would have worked but yeah it was awful. Second to last uh, might be surprising for some was Italy against Switzerland again the Swiss jerseys are dragging this down a whole lot but I also have to say I did not I like that Italy is playing in blue don't get me wrong um, however I don't like the dark pants. I think if Italy would have played in white pants and Switzerland would have played in the dark red from the first jersey, we would have gotten a much, much nicer color matchup. Yes, my, maybe slightly mismatched with the away jersey because there's a lot of lighter red and the darker red wouldn't work there. I get that. But the dark blue pants for me don't work for Italy either. So uh, I rather would have seen Italy in the first team look and then Switzerland having to adjust with red pants and I think we would have uh, gotten a very interesting uh, jersey matchup there. But you know, um, it looked all right, but I would say it's expected, but bad. Uh, expected was also Sweden against Slovakia. Um, why I do it in this category is because for me, yellow and white against main jerseys against each other, it just does not look quite right. Um, I would have much rather had it if Slovakia would have at least put on their home jerseys and wear it with white pants. I think that would have given us a much, much nicer matchup. Uh, this way it, it looks boring, it, will, it looks as boring as the match was. And then the last one in this category is probably a little bit of a contentious one because many people seem to like this Denmark uh, third jersey. I have to say the red versus white looked overall all right and it made a lot of sense. However, I think both jerseys are definitely more on the boring side. Um, I actually would have liked if, let's say, if Belgium could have had a different color, like a yellow one as they had at the World Cup. Um, and you know, the Denmark jersey could have also looked a little bit, um, you know, I think the crest should not be red. Let's put it that way. And then we're at the good matchups. Uh, I think England, Scotland was, is, I think I would just want to pull it over the line. I mean, it's similar to the Denmark, um, uh, uh, Belgium game. I think the unicolored look for both teams doesn't suit them as well as if we would have gotten a classic matchup, although UEFA would have probably frowned on it a little bit. England with the navy pants, Scotland with white and then with red socks, I think I would have loved this look uh, to see it a little bit more. So a little bit that disappointment uh, clouds that also. Also I have to, have, have to say in, in an evening game, 
Yes, or, or reducing this uh, very light versus very dark matchup is a little bit, um, takes a little bit of joy out of it. Um, the next one is actually, I think, a good step above because it was, yes, we have again a very dark jersey, but Austria playing now in all black looks a whole lot better than in the turquoise uh, bottoms. Um, and then, but the orange of the Netherlands made this whole thing a whole lot more um, vibrant to watch. Let's put it this way. Although I think that the Dutch Georgia should could use a little bit more vibrancy. But in this case, actually, the black accents on the Dutch jersey, together with the black jersey of Austria, there was that jived well. I still think if Austria would have a white shirt, this would have put this way, 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 way higher than it did here. Um, another one was uh, very, it's kind of so-and-so is Russia against Finland. Um, I think it's a decent, uh, was, was a decent jersey matchup. It was really carried by the Finnish home jerseys. Russia in a red, yeah, decent. Uh, not, not more than that, but the Finnish home jerseys really put this over uh, the top for me and made one of the, uh, the best match matchups on match day two. I think in this category only Wales against Turkey beats that one for the unusual combination. Uh, yellow against red is maybe not as unusual, but then the green pants, I think, sent this over the top for me. Yes, it's maybe an Australia look, but I really enjoyed watch watching this. Um, a little bit wise, it's not in a great ca 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 category. I like the red Turkey dress, but I like the white ones just a little bit better. This is one of the few cases where I actually think if Turkey would have worn white and Wales still would have gotten with this look, that a, uh, white against yellow might have worked because the um, yellow of Wales is a little, a little bit darker. On the other side, I think I'm glad that Turkey wore red. It's, it, this was a really interesting one uh, visually to watch. And then we have four really great matchups. I loved North Macedonia against Ukraine. Clearly held by the great North Macedonian jersey, but again, yellow against red. If you have two primary colors playing against each other, and all jerseys are only primary colors, so we have the uh, yellow with the blue accents for Ukraine, and then we have the red with a little bit of a touch of yellow on there. I have to say this looks very, very, very good, very fiery, however dampened a little bit by the blue on the Ukraine jersey. I thought this was an excellent jersey matchup. However, there are three that are clearly better because they are so traditional. And I'm going to start with Spain against Poland. I think uh, normally this would have been my favorite. Uh, because both play in the first team jerseys, uh, it is definitely hampered by the overall look of the Spain jersey. And, you know, Spain may be playing in the classic with uh, the royal blue pants and black socks, well, but they're not, not going to do that anymore. It would have been even better. But I have to say this was a great looking jersey matchup. Again, the Spanish jerseys uh, pull it off a little bit, but I really like that Poland played in their red pants and it works just fine. We, even though we have red on the jersey and red on the bottoms of Poland, it just worked really, 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 really well. However, Group F is where it's at. Uh, it was a toss-up, but I have to say, Portugal against Germany takes number two. I did not expect Germany playing in black pants, given what I've seen before. I was so happy to see that. Germany in white and black, you have the classic Germany look, and then the green pants of Portugal are wonderful. This is a classic, absolutely classic jersey matchup. It doesn't get better than that. And they're, even though both have dark pants, it just works. It looks great. Uh, the game was great, so uh, it, it was a symphony all uh, all around. And I have to, have, have to say, even though I find the German jerseys look a little bit like pajamas, it still looks very, very good. So uh, good on you, Ger uh, Germany, uh, for that look. And poor Portugal, yes, I have some gripes with whatever are the accents, but uh, if you look at it in play, a very fine Portuguese kit. However, to me, France against Hungary takes the top and it's mostly down that's why I'm wearing hung Hungary that I did not expect ever to see Hungary in the first choice kit because I haven't seen this in a long while red white green then paired with the underrated 
France away jersey with white, um, the dark blue shorts and the white uh, socks. I'm wondering red socks, but I think it, it's fine just this way. I have to say this looks great. Hungary helps it, but Frost just perfectly complements it. And I love it. Yukio, Yukio is a traditional uh, get-ups for soccer kids is not unicolored, at least for international teams. It is, you have a uh, top and then you have uh, the pants giving slight contrast. And I love this in the previous two, uh, three matchups that, 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 that we got this look. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, as I said, it was a little bit of a toss-up, but I think just the hungry look that I did not expect uh, puts it over the top, top, top for me, and a really nice compliment by France. Uh, I had a brief think, would I have preferred uh, France like an all navy, which could have worked potentially, but I think the white in the heat worked better. So there it is. These are my favorite matchups for uh, match day two. Please let, let me know if you agree and disagree with me. And I'm looking forward to doing this for match day three as well. Uh, we had already a good start uh, there as well with Italy against Wales. Um, I'm thinking I maybe should do an oval ranking there uh, for all the ma ma matchups uh, once we're at the end of the tournament because that will be interesting too. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this uh, video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.